Yeah. Here's Rose Lavelle. Um, thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. You're so exciting. Yay. I'm so excited. Uh, I don't even know how to start because I know that as soon as we tell everybody that the person we have on the podcast with us today is Rose Lavelle, everyone's going to freak out. Um, hi, Rose. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Um, I don't know if you know, but our everybody who listens to our podcast, and obviously us, big fans of Rose Lavelle. Wow. No, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, it's a huge deal. Um, and it's not just because one time I needed to get into a party and I might have said I was Rose Lavelle. Uh-huh. It's not just because of that. Okay. It's also your tweets. <gasps> <laughs> you got good tweets. I love when people say that. We talked about this at the SB party, like, very briefly and i was surprised that i was i went up to her i just remember saying you've got such good tweets normally a person's reaction to that is like okay and she was like thank you so much <laughs> uh and i was like I oh was. good she I was appreciates so honored yeah you've got really good tweets wow do we have some of those good tweets yeah we have a bunch it's going to be hard to pick which ones we want to dive into oh my god they're so good here we go we have rose's best tweets you want us to frame these for you <laughs> I'm like waiting to see which ones they are. <laughs> For May of 2019, I made the mistake of trusting airport coffee and airport outlets every time. And it's honestly just heartbreak after heartbreak. It's just relatable content, Rose. Yeah, it's just annoying. You know, you go in the Starbucks line and then you come back with like a burnt coffee. It's always burnt. How and is it that Starbucks is a brand is worse in an airport than it is in a regular store? That's a I, really good question. Airport Starbucks is awful. Maybe there, maybe there's some ingredient that they can't get through security. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. The I'm cocaine. Sure find- <laughs> the what? The cocaine, probably. Yeah, I think it's the cocaine. <laughs> uh, what else? Okay, this is the one I actually quoted to you when I saw you at the Aspies. Life is great, but it does suck. That she knows right away. I said life is great, and she went. Oh. <laughs> But it does suck that there's no way for dogs to understand that the reason we're not sharing our chocolate with them is actually out of love and not hate. This is the best tweet I've ever seen. Isn't that sad? I have not stopped thinking about it since I saw it. So now every time I'm with a dog, I, I'm like, it's not because I don't love you, bud. Like I'm, try, I'm like thinking about the fact that... It's hard. How hard is it as a dog owner, a dog sister... Uh, we were talking before. I was going to say, do you have a dog? Wilma. But people think that I'm her mother. She's actually my sister. Oh, that makes more Her sense. Siblings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she just celebrated a birthday, right? Yeah. Congratulations Thank on her. You. Big seven-year-old. Oh, when, my God. You have a seven-year-old sister. I when know. I was stalking your Twitter earlier. I saw a lot of posts about, you know, like, Wilma's weight loss journey. Mm-hmm. And how hard is that to try to, like, help your sister on that road? She's actually, um, she's doing great. Um, she, so we act, I feel like I shouldn't say this because maybe people are going to get mad. But when we first had her, when she was like two, we took her to the vet and she's a pretty petite bulldog. So we took her to the vet and the vet told us she was morbidly obese and we (gasps) we were shocked. We had no clue. We were like, what? Like you, you're joking. That's she's, so scary. I know. She was like, it's yeah. a big word. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm being dramatic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just the regular it. obese. <laughs> just, yeah, it could have been just regularly obese. But um, yeah, and we were shocked. And they're like, yeah, we can barely feel her ribs. Like, Whoa. So that was when her weight loss journey started. At, at age two? <laughs> at age two. That's a tough age. Yeah. So she's and, been on this journey for five years? Yeah. So she actually did. I should send you the before and after picture. Can I show? With a hand in my phone. It, it looks like a, like when they catch a celebrity out in public without makeup on. <laughs> like that's what this looks like. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Look at her. Oh, my gosh. She's the cutest dog. I know. She's so cute. I like her big or small. Uh-huh. Yeah. Honestly. I don't body shame dogs. So now she honestly, she just sometimes fluctuates. Sometimes she just will gain a couple pounds. You know what? Which everyone's got like back a, to that point. Yeah, everyone's got like a five to ten pound mm-hmm. to fifteen, yeah. depends. You so know, twenty pound to the up and down yeah, yeah. range. Yeah, 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 a yeah. plus or minus twenty pounds. Um, so you is that when you did you have like a dog growing up? We did. We had a pug. Oh, um, so cute. Yeah, Duchess Walter Hobbs. Wow. 
Yeah. Those are some incredible names. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Duchess <laughs> Walter mm-hmm. Hobbs. Yeah. We've talked about uh, Katie getting a dog, oh. and we were trying to figure out which breed would be good for her. So you've had a pug and a bulldog. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on each? I love them both. Mm-hmm. They were different. Duchess was a pacifist. She <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want any beef with anyone. She just strictly wanted snuggles and pets. And Wilma loves attention and pets, but she's a lot more stubborn. Um, that's the thing with bulldogs is they're really, really stubborn. Mm-hmm. Um are those typical qualities of like the breeds or do you think that those are just like, she's not a dog expert. I'm, I don't well, think, I mean, I think, I think she is an well, immature. She's, yeah. I yeah. Feel okay. like all pugs are pacifists. So. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. She is a dog expert. <laughs> clearly. We were looking, we, the, we were walking through Jersey city the other day and saw a thing that a dog that looked like a tiny Husky. And I, I, it was so cute that I accosted the person who was walking it and was like, really uh, what kind of dog is that? And it was an Alaskan Klikai. As a dog expert, have you ever heard of those? No. Do you want me to show you pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> while I'm pulling these up, how was the World Cup? It was pretty good. Oh, okay. <laughs> with, a, with a casual shoulder shrug. Yeah. It was all right. Yeah. It was fun. How, how was your experience? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, it was fun and we won. So that made it a lot more fun. Cool. You scored, which made it more and more fun. Yeah, made it okay. You're right. Mm-hmm. Good. That's good. <laughs> Do you feel like... Wow. Hold on. We're, we're waiting for the Full reaction. grown is how... What did they like say? Like 5 to 22 pounds, I feel <gasps> like. What? They're real little. Wow. So it's like a perpetual puppy husky. Yes. Yeah. In layman's terms. A, a husk puppy, is I think, is what they're called. Term? No. I don't. There is? Yeah, there is. There is? Just this way? I'm just going to go puke really fast. You guys keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Do and you, I can try to hold it in. It's going to be weird. Yeah, Go thanks ahead. for not doing it here. Um, do you feel like a lot of the news outlets were saying, like, oh, Rose is the breakout star of the Women's World Cup. Do you feel like things have changed for you since the end of the tournament? Um, I think things have been a lot busier, but I'm sure for like everyone on our team. Yeah. And I feel like I always say this, but I'm really someone who likes to do like nothing, Mm -hmm. like absolutely nothing. I love laying in my bed, have a coffee bedside, have my shows on or my books. So, um, that's the biggest difference is I'm busier, which means I don't have a lot of time to do nothing. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer. Mm-hmm. So things are worse since the end of the World Cup <laughs> is what, you, what you're saying. <laughs> uh, not exactly. Right, right, but right. You guys have, um, as I said, was stalking your Twitter and there's been a bunch of videos of you doing pranks on teammates, like whether it's just like scaring or like the replace movie titles with like, oh, yeah, like a there's one. a, like, do you feel like you're the biggest prankster on the team. Pranks are such a weird word. Or cuz you usually buddy up with somebody. Mhm. Uh, yeah, I definitely always have to have a partner in crime. I don't think I'm the biggest one. I think I'm just one of many. That's good deflection. Prankster. That's no. good deflection. I'll tell you that. So who I is the, who is then? It's ex- soccer expert Katie Nolan. Isn't it Kelly? Doesn't Kelly do the pranks a lot or Allie? They do some pranks, yeah. I feel like they all, <laughs> we all do, yes, pranks are done. Mm-hmm. We, the pranks have been done. I feel like you're always all, who is it that probably does it the most? Let me just think about my teammates. And you t- think about your mm-hmm. teammates, too. Mm-hmm. If you had to say. Who does it the most? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know like either. Man. Everyone They're all just. The yeah, we really do. Do you have any other questions for us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who choreographs like the dancing? Well, I mean, uh, do you want to tell this story? <laughs> okay, I'll tell this yeah. one. Um, me and Sonnet actually choreograph a lot. We actually just choreographed one last night. <gasps> to what? I what is it? You. I can't tell you. You can't even say the name of the song. We're not going to ask you to show. I mean, we are going to ask you to show it. But well, yeah, I assume that'll be are a you no. You can't say it because of the microphone. Like, will you be able to tell us like, oh, it def- later? It's inappro- or no, it's, oh. it's completely appropriate. Oh, 
So it's I was just, just gonna have a you surprise, but for surprise. No reason. Okay. okay, but for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Is there going to be a video release that we should be counting down to? Huh. Maybe not. So maybe I'll just so tell what, you. Yeah. Okay. What's the surprise <laughs> for them? <laughs> surprise. You never get to know. <laughs> surprise. You'll never see it. Um, have you seen the little trend that's the Mr. Sandman? Yes. That. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. I got notes. It was uh, a big build up there. <laughs> <laughs> for then... It'll be a, good. A, a little bit of a letdown. <laughs> so there, there has to be a video release then to prove. Right. Maybe. I can't make promises, but I'll make... Promises. I'll, I'll, pr- I'll make an mm. effort. Can't yeah. make promises, but I'll make an effort. Wow, yeah. we just came up with a beautiful slogan. See, we it's do this one. sometimes. We're just like on the same page. Rose and Rose. Mm-hmm. Also. Yeah, we yeah, just... Again. Rose and Rose. Um, there's a tweet going around right now. On the Twitter, on the tw- uh, the it's going Twitter application, that yeah. On the Twitter, Katie yeah. doesn't let me say the word viral, so I have to work around it. <laughs> That's just talking about name a perfect episode of TV. And at one point, you suggested replacing the Bachelor Bachelorette with dogs. Oh, yeah. And I kind of would just love to hear more information about that. Like, what does that episode look like? Is it a human finding their dog? Is it a yes. dog finding dog love? No, it's a human. So it's maybe someone like. <laughs> <laughs> puppy love as they say maybe someone like our friend katie who's mm-hmm. on the prowl for a dog the prowl I is the, the prowl best way that. to put mm-hmm. it so she would go on the show and there'd be 20 dogs oh my gosh and then she has individual time with each it's a really bad time to throw up and i love this pitch <laughs> <laughs> and then basically she just has to pick one. Oh my gosh and instead of roses you hand out scooby snacks scooby snacks it's good that's I don't, I don't think she'd be able to turn dogs away. I don't think she'd get through a, a Scooby that's, ceremony. That's the hard part. But oh, like, I think that's a very good the idea. You can see how they hard. play with each other mm-hmm. in group dates. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. How what, they handle other dogs. What do, uh, what do the fantasy suites look like? Is that like an overnight cuddle sesh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Just, that's good. I haven't even thought about that, but that's good. I th- well, I mean, if we're going to develop the pitch, we should spend time on it. Because, you know, I have one dog. I have two. But, like, one of them sleeps by my feet, and it's great. And the other one is much smaller and somehow takes up the entire bed. And it, it's just like, well, I don't mm-hmm. know if I would have signed up for this if I had known, you know? Yeah. Yeah, Wilma does that, too. Maybe, yeah, I think it would be a sleepover, and you can see what time they would wake you up to go to the bathroom. That's so smart! Yeah. That's so smart. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'm going to write this down. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do do we have a working title for it? Um, hmm. No, I haven't thought about that either. I really didn't think it'd ever get this far. Well, I think it's a great idea. You've got really good TV instincts. I'm going to help you follow these dreams. If the soccer thing doesn't work out. Thank you. (laughs) I have been trying to figure out what I want to do after soccer's over, so... This is good. Do you think like Skyline Chili Advocate oh. is we- in the car? Oh. <laughs> God damn. Help me. <laughs> Photoshop expert. Such a good idea. What? I just need to know what the such a good idea was that you screamed. That's such a good idea at the top of your lungs. Oh, when the we were just talking through the pup shiller that's not that's not the good working title the episode you didn't come up with that no no no. no. and what the fantasy suites would look like in that scenario and it was an overnight you could see how much space they took up on the bed like what that's such a good idea i get it now okay Mm -hmm. good (laughs) the pup shiller that needs work no yeah well i'll workshop it that needs work Mm -hmm. um you sports wise (gasps) what she found it the bark (laughs) chiller It's an improvement. It is a slight improvement. I like the like <gasps> the bark chillerette. Um, That's pretty good. It's it's when not you bad. Say it a couple times. What about like a um, patch. Barkers and par- the, the Paradise Patch Patch. Um, the paw. No, I'm paw admittedly not at my paw. best right now. Uh. No, maybe we can maybe maybe it doesn't have to be like so what's the in um in the reality show version one what was it both what was it called no no the reality sh- and the, not reality the scripted one the the one on lifetime unreal what was their bachelor show called 
suitor or like the men were called suitors. Do you ever watch Unreal? Yeah. It's really good. It's like a fake show about about a fake bachelor. This is really Don't Google it. It's really I'm not gonna worth Google it. it. Okay. It's gonna bother me. Okay. Uh, forget it. Back to what we were doing. Uh huh. Sports wise, are you a big sports fan? Yeah. Who are your teams? Love sports. Love sports. Love, love to play them. Love to watch girl. them. Um, love college basketball. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wisconsin, I assume. Actually, I'm a big Xavier fan. Huh. Yeah. I like Wisconsin, too, but, like, Xavier's my, like, number one college basketball team. Why is that? I don't know. I've, I live 15 minutes from them, and my dad's dad, so my my grandpa. That is the word. That yeah. was my grandpa. <laughs> that is your grandpa. Um, played and coached football there when they had a team, so I just grew up a fan. Yeah. And I will die a fan. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Got dark. Uh-huh. So how are marches for you? Like, is that just madness? I, yeah. <laughs> I love March. But it's also, like, so stressful. Yeah. But last year, Xavier didn't make it. Mm. Um, so it was a little less stressful, and I can enjoy it in a little more. Every year when they make it, I have them going all the way and winning it all. Oh, yeah. In your bracket that you mm-hmm. may or may not allegedly put money on no there's no money she's a, an athlete no money all nope. fun yeah okay. all fun okay. just yep. all fun um so do you like how superstitious are you as a fan i'm not super st- okay <laughs> i was gonna say because i have a tweet about you licking cleats and i, I just want to licking cleats <laughs> no i'm not superstitious with myself but for all the other sports teams i cheer for i am really superstitious like do you have a specific thing for each team or it's just because I'm superstitious, but it's usually like, well, last week, you know, I was in the bathroom for this game, so I have to, like, sit in the bathroom for the yeah. entire game. Like, But I don't have, like, that's what I do with the Red Sox, and this is what I do with the... Well, oh, no, it's usually it's usually if we're watching at home and Xavier's doing really well when someone goes to the bathroom, they have yeah, to they stay have in to the stay. bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> do that. Yeah, yeah, that's really funny. So your whole family is... Yeah, or if, like, Wilma went outside and they started doing well, it's like... You're an outside sorry. dog now. Yeah. Yeah. Don't come well. in. Yeah. <laughs> No, I get that. I'm also super. Are you super? I don't even know. I used to be, and I I've gotten less with age. I've kind of grown out of it mm. a bit. All right. Well, we're you're very young. I so know you guys are both still so in your prime. And, yeah, yeah. In our prime. In our prime. <laughs> <laughs> so Xavier most. and She's lumping Xavier you in and who made a mold. Xavier. She said Xavier and Wisconsin. Those are her teams. Yeah. Oh ba- wait. What Bengals. about pro? What about pro? There we go. Yeah. Bengals and Reds. Sports. Cincinnati Bengals sports. And reds. Okay. That's unfortunate. It's right? tough. Yeah. It is not tough the best. sometimes. Yeah. Well, a lot of times. Most of the time. Every it's day. really tough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least you have college sports. I know. I got that going really for well. me. Yeah, you're handling it well. Thank you. <laughs> you don't look as miserable as you should. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this year will be different. That's what I say every year. Mm-hmm. Um, what, are, what does it feel like when people say, like, she's the future of the women's national team? And when they say she, they're talking about you. Um, yeah, I don't know how to answer those questions. I know. That's why I, I'm looking you right in the eye and making you do I, it. And I'm avoiding Because as the future of the team, <laughs> I'm not looking your way. As the future of the team, you're going to have to answer that question. So uh, it sounds like the answer is like overwhelmed, makes you feel a little overwhelmed. Um, I'm going to just read her facial expressions and turn them into words. <laughs> Well, that's a fun game. Mm. Um, it it she feels like flattered and almost maybe like she doesn't think that she deserved that. I'm um, now I'm speaking for you, but that's you absolutely good. deserve Sometimes it. Sometimes I, it's a lot no, of pressure. I just feel no. Wow, I just, my podcast and my phone's on loud. I don't know. I don't have an answer for it. Your face does though. So she's doing this Robert De Niro thing. It, it really is. It's yeah. very good. Edge I of her know. lips going down, and I'm then really she's looking out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there's your answer, folks. That's how Rose Le- put that on a headline. That's how Rose Lavelle feels about being the future the of the women's national is team. Stop asking me that question. That's good. So, so I don't good. have to answer with, it. With just your facial expressions, how do you feel about somebody impersonating you, essentially committing identity theft just to okay. get into a party? <laughs> <laughs> My sister, do you guys watch The Office? Yes. My sister actually quote tweeted and said, "Identity theft is not a joke, Katie. Millions <laughs> of families suffer every year." <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's got a funny turn on me. Yeah, you guys are really funny. It's probably Wilma. I think she... God damn it. I'm going to die. <laughs> You'll feel better once it's all out. I... Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> At least we can't hear it. <laughs> I'm, doing it so, I'm doing it into my mouth and then spit. It's, it's, oh. You don't have to give that level... <laughs> Not that level of detail. What are you watching right now? Oh, SVU. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like current ones or like binging old ones? I started on season one last year and I'm on season 18 now. How many are there? <laughs> it's like the longest running. I don't know what the. It's one of the longest running shows. I think they're on like 21 or 22. What are you going to do when you catch up? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do with the rest of my life once I finish. <laughs> I mean, do some reality TV shows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's true. The bar- Barchelor. I'm going to think about this mm-hmm. for weeks. I know. Barchel- Barchelorette. Barchelorette. It was everlasting, by the way. It was it, Katie, it was everlasting. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright? No. Oh, it's 11.30. I really thought it was done. I really thought this was over. Do you mean the the interview? No, sorry. The food food poisoning. It's just how much more puke can I possibly... Well, Rose, it's been really lovely (laughs) having you. (laughs) And we really appreciate it. I'm sweating. (laughs) So, other than that question that you hate, Uh what is a question that nobody ever asks you that you're like, man, I wish somebody would just ask me this so I can talk about (laughs) this. So actually, people always ask me that question too. Are you f- really? Yeah. Holy sh! Is there any question that you never get asked that you wish you would get asked? That's a common question. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Huh. Mm-hmm. Well, and I always say, all right, no, just... I think you guys have covered everything. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a who's really your good mm-hmm. Who's your favorite was... podcast host out no, of the two? I was going to say character <laughs> on The Office, and then I was like, wait, this should be soccer related. Like that picture of who's your favorite soccer player? (laughs) Oh, man. Pino. Nice. That's such a good answer. Thank you. I know her. I know you do. (laughs) I know you do. Um, Okay, I have one more. There was a video that you tweeted that was like, the men, some really good men's game had happened in the World Cup, and you're like, oh, my current mood. And it was this really adorable young soccer player who, like, flips the ball up and, like, mm-hmm. catches it. on. The, was that you? Yeah. You could oh, do that? Uh, like, catch the ball on the back of your neck? When How old were you there? Well, like, I eight? Cheated. I had, like, my little, like, chicken wings as a oh, cage. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the cheat code. She had the chicken wing cage. She so started cheating. Famously. That young. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's still, that's still insanely impressive. Like, you knew from the beginning, from when you dressed up as Mia Hamm, when you were, gosh, I can't do the math that quick in my head, really young. Like, you've just always wanted this. I did. I always wanted to be on this team, and it's like, then I, now I am. I heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's so nuts. You're on it. Yeah. The team. The one and only. Yeah, it's so dope. Yeah. Do you like wake up and you're like, this is pretty dope. I'm on the team. Um, sometimes. Yeah. No, not really. I do too. <laughs> and then Ashley has to be like, <laughs> still, still that was not, just a dream though. Yeah, That's still you're not, not on, on the team. Was it, um, sorry, I know I have, I'm still going, but this is really interesting to me. Uh, was it hard when you were in school trying to balance? No. no Cause she used the chicken wing. Cage. Not like little school, like college. Oh. Like, Oh, um, I mean, college is, like, I almost feel, like, easier to miss class because you don't have all the, like, little assignments like you do in high school. Mm-hmm. So it's, like, you just got to grab your notes from someone else, someone that was there. Yeah. But there was a game, and you had your homework, like, written on your hand. Oh, yeah. And that is just hysterical. Did me. you stalk her, like, hard? <laughs> yeah, I woke up really early, I and this. I just, you know... I, I went back to like 2017. Very, very early, but for a very different reason. <laughs> <laughs> so you wrote your homework on your hand. Sorry, I was. It's, That's okay. It's just fun. Just it's, I think it's adorable. I did write my homework on my hand because sometimes I forget my homework. I like soccer more and not. not more than my, homework? Yeah. <laughs> no. So sometimes if I was off doing soccer things, I'd forget about my homework. 
So that was just a great way that's to... That's unrelatable. Yeah, that's good. That's unrelatable. <laughs> <laughs> I get home and I'm like, give me that homework. <laughs> no TV for me. I want to do work at home. It's the origin of phrase. Yep, we got it. Okay. Uh, all right, Rose. We can't keep you any longer. Um, so that thank you for making faces for us. Thank you for reading my faces. Thank you for giving us the... Barkchillerette. Mm-hmm. We'll work saying on that. that right? Barkchillerette. Yes. Bark yeah. ch- it's the chiller that makes it hard. Barkchillerette. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like, you just want to be like Barkchillerette. 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 No. Mm. Mm-hmm. Let's workshop it. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll next time, yeah. we'll, we'll, have a, we'll figure it out. When you send Katie the dance video, we'll have some titles of the show ready to Perfect. respond with. Oh, yeah. You're going to send me a dance video. Mm-hmm. Write that on your hand. That's your homework. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for doing this and for hanging out and for getting me into LeBron's party. It was my honor. We really appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. Her face right now is like the biggest smile and it just means that she's so happy and she just made a bunch of best friends. So that was Rose 